Mr. Packbat really wants that. Mr. Packbat really wants that by Marcus Wirt, illustrated by Kyla Stark. Mr. Packbat felt so good he thought he might explode. He had just built his first midden. What's a midden? It's a nest pack rats build out of whatever's lying around. Mr. Pack Rat late midden had a theme brown. He'd gathered brown pine needles, brown sticks and leaves, brown acorns, pine cones, and chips of bark. Brown is, is such a cozy color, Mr. Pack Rat said. And my midden is the brownest midden ever. Whoo, he said. I need a break. So he walked to his favorite meadow. The wildflowers were all in bloom. Oh, these colors, he gasped. Juicy reds, perky oranges, lemony yellows. It's like a rainbow fell from the sky and broke into a million pieces. He thought of his midden. Ugh, he cried. One color midden is so boring. All these colors can make me happy. Mr. Packrat had an old metal bar that he had been, in, had been in his family for a long, long time. The bar didn't even look much like, but with the right words, it worked like a magnet, a magical magnet. He pointed the bar at the flowers and said, all these flowers that I see, magnet, bring them home with me. Mr. Packrat, Mr. Packrat, Mr. Packrat really wants that. Cling! The bar rang like a bell. The magic jumped out and <laughs> plucked every flower. Mr. Packrat marched back home with the flowers bobbing behind him. Mr. Packrat was delighted with his colorful midden for the, about a week, but then the flowers did what flowers do. They withered and turned brown. Mr. Packrat was back to one color midden, and the dead flowers kind of stank. Ew, he cried. I'm going out. He walked to his favorite beach that day, and, and the waves had pushed the most beautiful shells on the sand. Such glittering colors and forms, Mr. Pat Rat gushed. It's like a million pirates emptied their treasure chests on the beach, and the shells don't wilt. Pointing the bar, he said, seashells that the ocean gave, magnet bring them to my cave. Mr. Packrat, Mr. Packrat, Mr. Packrat really wants that. The bar rang. Clang! The magic jumped out and rattle, 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 scooped up all the shells. Mr. Packrat strode home and the shells jostled noisily behind him. Mr. Packrat was truly happy for a couple of hours. But away from the sun, the sand, and the sea, the shells didn't, didn't dazzle. And what they really did do, the shells, what did you really do want to do with shells anyways? Sort them? Ugh. Mr. Packrat shouted, these shells are boring. I'm going out. He walked to his favorite store. Everywhere he looked, there was something cool. Toys and tools and games, he cried. Telescopes and fishing rods. It's like a million scientists invented every fun thing you could think of. I want them all. The bar was already in his hand. I have lots, but I want more. Mag magnet empty every store. Mr. Packrat, Mr. Packrat, Mr. Packrat really wants that. The bar rang very loud. The magic picked up every item and schnitz, schwitz, schnitz flew it at Mr. Packrat, this time he had to run home and keep from getting clonked in the head. Mr. Packrat's cave was cluttered and there was, wasn't room for him to play with his new belongings. There was barely enough room for him. Yip, he yelped. I can't breathe. He just managed to squeeze outside. Stars flared against the jet black sky. Infinite space, he cried. Majestic vastness. I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. 
I don't see a reason why I shouldn't own the whole entire sky. Mr. Packrat, Mr. Packrat, Mr. Packrat really wants that. Clong! The bar rang with a big dong of doom. The magic turned every star, moon, and planet. A comet headed straight for Mr. Packrat. No, 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 he shrieked. I take it back. I don't want the whole entire sky. Please, Magnet, I take back my wish. The bar leaped out of his hands, and then it finally fell. It hit the ground with a thud. Everything was quiet. The moon, the stars, and the planet sat in the proper places. The comet headed somewhere else. Mr. Packrat threw himself on the ground. I was almost squashed, he wailed. How did everything go so wrong? I just wanted to be happy. He cried and cried until he finally fell asleep. When Mr. Packrat woke up the next morning, the sun was a yellow and fresh, as yellow as fresh butter. Breezes chased each other in the grass. Every leaf wore crystal and morning dew. Oh, said Mr. Packrat. He smiled. He immediately reached for his bar, but then he stopped. No, 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 Mr. Packrat, he said. What were you going to wish for, the sun? Mr. Packrat sat down in a pretty glade. Sunshine warmed his face. Breezes tickled his fur. Butterflies danced in the air around him. Mr. Packrat was happy. He looked at the metal bar. He knew, you know, Magnet, he said at last, I've been using you all along, all wrong. I kept asking for you to do things to make me happy again, but I never knew when I was happy already. I never knew that I was happy already. And actually, I'm happy quite a lot of the time. What I said is a friend to remind me that. The bar began to ring merrily. Kitty clang clang, kitty clang clang. What is it, Magnet? said Mr. Rat. You sound so happy. Mr. Mr. Pack Rat stopped and then he giggled. Huh? Oh, he said. I get it. Clitty clang clang. From then on, the bar rang. Clitty clang clang, clitty clang clang. Every, whenever Mr. Pack Rat was already happy. Clitty clang clang, ding ding. It rang when Mr. Packrack returned everything to the store and he saw a smile on the storekeeper's face. Clitter clang, ding ding. It rang when Mr. Packrack brought the seashells back to the beach and rearranged them on the sand. Clitter clang, ding. Rang the bar when Mr. Packrack spread the dead flowers all over the meadow and the dead flowers turned into mulch for new flowers would spring. And Clitter dang, clitter dang, rang the bar very softly when Mr. Packrat curled up on his brown midden, ready to, for a good night's sleep. Mr. Packrat, Mr. Packrat, Mr. Packrat really likes that. The end. All these flowers that I see, Magnet, bring them home with me. Mr. Packrat, Mr. Packrat, Mr. Packrat really wants that. Mr. Packrat is particularly a, a inquisitive small mammal with a hoarding problem and a magical magnet that brings him everything he wants. Through trial and error, he begins to question whether having more things is really the secret to happiness. The end.